episode of The Life with Naz. This is comedian Nazareth, and uh, we are at show 400. 400 for an hour of laughter and encouragement. We started this show about the March 14th, when we 2020, when the quarantine started, and um, I was so nervous about what to do for an hour or two every night. And a couple years later or more, we're 400, show 400. So tonight is different. Tonight, I'm going to bring some of the people, the loyal people that have been with us, you know, commenting, the funny people behind this comments. You know, like, um, uh, you know, you hear these comments and we laugh, but we, we normally, you know, you don't know who they are. So tonight, I figure I bring some of them up and let them uh, introduce themselves, and maybe you can ask them some questions. And also, if you want to join us, you can click on the stream, and uh, you'll be able to join us live. So I'm going to put the stream. Uh, let's see if I can click the stream here. And, yeah, and then you guys can join us if you want. So you guys know enough about me, so I figured I want to know enough about you. So it's only too fair to bring the person that's always there, that's always opening the door for everyone. So let's welcome Sarah Voth. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Naz. Hi, everybody. How, how are you? Are you opening the door for when, everyone? It, y yes and no. I think Michael just slipped his hand underneath and, and grabbed the knob and opened it. <laughs> okay. So we'll My, it today. I would love, I challenge Michael to join us tonight uh, physically. Michael, we don't have, fall on us. Yeah, we have several people uh, that's, uh, what do you call it, uh, that, that are going to be live with us. So I'm going to bring them up. I hope they can hear us. Like, Rochelle, can you hear us even before we bring you up? They can hear us. And Chris Martell is here, and we'll, we'll probably have several people. We can have 10 people at one time, so we'll do that. We start with Sarah, and I'm. Uh, you guys know Sarah is a seamstress. She's a very good seamstress. She doesn't do a regular seamstress work. She does these wonderful dresses from back in the 1700s and the 1600s and the Crusaders. Yes. Yeah, she even <laughs> made Eve Eve fig leaves. You know, if you ever seen <laughs> Eve fig leaves, she that's. I was there. <laughs> no, you were not. But that's how good she is. So. <laughs> Uh, so it, you know what? I'm going to open it to people to get oh, to know you, Sarah. So if anybody have a question for Sarah right now, let by, me, the way, I'm gonna... by the way, I'm really bad at typing and talking at the same time. So if I'm not saying hello to everyone, uh, that's why, but hello to everyone anyway. Yeah. You, they can hear you. So it's fine. Good. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We have, uh, okay. The door is wide open. Let's see. Here we go. Beverly Wick says happy for Rita is here, yeah. Pokey Martinez, uh, Becky Voth, everyone is here. How are you? I tried to connect live, but isn't... Oh, I'm sorry. You guys, you can try from your phones if it doesn't work on your regular. And Dolores is here, and Pokey Martinez, Sarah equals princess. Yeah. All right. Actually, Any question? <laughs> is, it, is it? Is it that's really? Like, uh, Sarah means princess or God's princess. It's a Hebrew name. So you live in... Uh, you live in uh, Washington State, but you're very close to the Oregon border. Yes, Southwest Washington. And how cold is it tonight? I think it warmed up to about forty degrees. <laughs> oh, that's good. Last night it was about thirty-three degrees. It was cold last night. Michael wants to emphasize that Sarah is single. Oh gosh, Michael! <laughs> 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 I'm never gonna hear the end of it. Uh, good, good. What do you like about the show, Sarah? 400 you probably been in almost you joined in at show 100 i think uh no actually i think it was it was right after tim hawkins podcast and oh. i joined now if i had known you were starting this i podcast, know this show i would have been there and turns out you started it on my birthday my birthday is march 14th all so, right oh. yeah. <laughs> cool well, well I did you want me to answer the question or do you want to keep going yes no no answer the question okay okay sorry for the overlap um, what do I like about this show? It's hilarious. And it always helps me when I've 
been having kind of a bad day or something, it'll lift my spirits. And even if I maybe not quite feeling all the way better, I just love the family and the community that we have here as Live with Nazars or whatever we're calling ourselves these days. It's just such an uplifting show and time and a good break from some of the chaos that we're just seeing all the time. So thank you so much, Naz, for this show. No, and no problem. Well, I'm going to keep you on, but I'll bring, I'm going to bring, we have uh, uh, Rochelle and Michelle, and I'm going to bring all of them. I see uh, a little bit of Becky Voth here. Hi, oh. Becky. How are you? Just fine. This is why I need <laughs> prayer. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Her phone didn't work. So she. No, didn't. Didn't work. But by the way, you both are very funny. And the one that kills me with laughter is Pat. Oh, Pat yeah. He's is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're like, what a funny <laughs> family. <laughs> you were okay. Crazy. <laughs> Thank you. Let's bring my Rochelle, the mother of six children. And she drives a dump truck, right, Rochelle? I do. I do, for sure. How, how are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Tired, I know. but cold. tired, but did you drive the truck today? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did um <clears throat> over nine hours almost every day this week. And they didn't fix the seat yet, right? Well, they actually uh they had our mechanic um take the passenger seat bottom and put it on the driver's seat because it's a little less broken down than the passenger seat. So yeah, not really a new seat. Okay, well, how do you how do you handle life with six kids? You're a single mom, right? Is anybody helping you? Uh, well, my dad and his wife live about seven miles away in Scafood. And um, since I work, like, all the time now, they, my dad comes in the morning after my, I'm already gone and at work and takes the youngest four to school. <clears throat> and then his wife, their grandma, Bobby, <clears throat> she picks them up from school and takes them home. And so that's really helpful. Um, and then my 15 year old, he goes to Flint Adventist Academy and I take him with me in the mornings and drop him off with the registrar of Portland Adventist. So I drop him off at like 6.45 in the morning and he gets a ride and he's very early to school. And then I pick him up at like 5.30 in the evening from her. So it's long days for for my oldest or my second oldest and myself. Pretty long. What? Wow. Well, I'm glad you're able to laugh and to, I know that's a, that's a hard, hard work, hard, yeah. you know, yeah. yes, you, you're amazing. You're just amazing. It just amazes me. <laughs> so, thank you. All right. Let's bring, let's bring Michelle, Michelle uh, Vullison from uh, Brunswick, Ohio. She's a new friend, but she's very funny. And hello, Michelle. How hello. are you? Good. How are you? Good, Hi. good, good. How cold is it in Ohio? It's too cold. I got my car stuck in the driveway today. <laughs> oh, you guys had the storm. Yeah. Yeah, we were snowed in for a day or so. I just got out Cause, today. Because <laughs> John was stuck in uh, Gal Galindor, whatever, Galinda, Illinois, <laughs> and he couldn't leave. I changed his flight. Yeah. And then this morning... He was able to drive back to Nashville, so he'll be flying early. But they did have a storm. So what do you do for work, uh, Michelle? Oh, uh, <laughs> um, unemployed right now. I was a respiratory therapist. <laughs> oh, respiratory therapy. Oh, that takes yeah, my breath I... away. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I have the power. <laughs> oh, that, that that's, that's awesome. So you're looking for work as a respiratory therapist? No, I kind of taken a break from that i worked the pandemic for about 19 months and we needed a walk away so <laughs> we're looking for a career change yeah single married uh, kids uh divorced um one son yeah one 16 son. Oh. doesn't drive yet oh okay so that's wonderful wonderful guys if you have any question for anybody joining us i have let's see who else is joining oh becky ottenberry from louisiana Hi, Becky. <laughs> how, how, I'm so glad to see you all. Well, it's good to see you. That's uh, It's so neat to be able to see the funny people behind the <laughs> chat. And uh, uh, let's see. And uh, let's. Uh, so, where's your sisters? How come they're not here with us? I, I invited Debbie them. 
she was here. Is she in? Is she backstage, Debbie? I don't know if they're backstage. We got, let's see, one, two, three, four. No, I can have up to 10 people live, but so far. Uh, oh, Lori Herman's here. Michael Ramirez is saying, Michelle, you should uh, <laughs> you should join. You know, what do you call it? What did you say? Uh, come on, Michael. Let's come on live, man. We need to see you. Okay, let's see. Here we go. All right. So if you have any questions for these lovely ladies. Please. Uh, oh, Brent is here from the hospital. I think he's still in the hospital. Welcome, Brent. We've been praying for you. So anybody who wants to come live on the show, and if you have any questions for the people live right now that's on the camera, please. Oh, Sarah has a question? I have a question for Becky. Okay. Uh, do you really think that showing me all those alligator pictures is going to make me want to come visit the South? <laughs> that was... That was Debbie. I know, I know. Louisiana. Is, she, oh is, is she sending you alligator pictures? She was. No, not me. Not me. No, Debbie oh, was. That's, that's her sister. Debbie. Debbie was. But the other question is, how is the weather for you in Louisiana? Tonight it will be 24. Whoa. Oh. Yes. Ooh. That's cold for us. Ooh. That's cold here too. <laughs> 24. That's evacuation weather for us. I know. Uh, your sister Dolores said, I'm on my cell phone and don't really know how to do this. If you click on the link, it should open the restream and let you guys join us. So, all right. Audra has a pet alligator in Florida. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. Brent, come on down. Can you come up? We can. And let's see, very cold, 24, that's, 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 it's, today it's in California, in Southern California, it's about, I think this morning was 70, and right now it should be about 55, which is oh, cold. Give us a couple of hours, we'll be 70. It's You'll crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Are you so muting myself right now? Because I can. You want me to mute me? No, no, I can. No, there's nobody else. Uh, I think that's all of you here. And uh, I know Rochelle is really, really not happy being on the video. But, uh, it's good to see you, Rochelle. Yes, it is. I look gothic. Why do I look so pale? You're look, just cool. I look maybe so the white. White. <laughs> You guys don't look as white as I do. It's the lighting. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> I don't ever do streaming things, so I'm not set up for this. <laughs> well, you guys see my face 400 hours in the yeah, last. You look nice and glowy and tan, like you. Don't I'm glowy. Worry. I I got too much lights on myself. I like Oregon, so it's not my fault. Yeah, but. Uh, oh, Rochelle, I understand. <laughs> I look whiter than you, even so bad. I feel like I'm a teenager again. When like when I was going in my goth phase, that's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, just, so, just coming back up around. So, all right, <laughs> okay. uh, you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start asking questions. Why not? And I want to see some answers from people. Uh, first of all, since unless you guys have questions for these young people on the show, uh, we're gonna try to be normal here. Let's see. That's a lost uh, call. <laughs> okay, who else? Uh, can everyone say happy birthday to Samantha? My baby just became an adult. Well, happy wow. birthday, Samantha. Hey, birthday. Happy birthday. Let's, let's see. Last night I asked you the question, people. Uh, worst name for crayon colors. Worst <laughs> name for crayon colors. Uh, there was a lot of funny ones that I could not write because they were horribly <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> and... Uh, at number 20, greasy gray. At number 19, pathetic purple. At number 18, blacklisted. At number 17, toe jam berry. <laughs> At number 16, soylent green. At number 15, toxic tan. Imagine these are colors you're handing them to kids and say, oh, here's a bloody nose red at number 14. <laughs> At number 13, blue, bruised black and blue. At number 12, poison ivy green. At number 11, schizophrenic sable. 
At number 10, Kami Red. At number 9, Grey Roots. Number 8, oh, wow. Pepto Bismol Pink. At number 7, Cremated Grey Dust. At number 6, uh, Bearded Lady Brown. <laughs> at number 5, Red Rash. Ooh. At number 4, at number four, number two, brown. <laughs> at number three, Asian orange. Number nope. two, jaundice yellow. <laughs> and the number one was like low oxygen blue. I think that was funny. <laughs> so did everybody get one in there? Did you? Yeah, I think I got one in there. Yeah. You got one? Uh, <laughs> Michelle, did you get any? I don't think I made it. <laughs> no, there were some good ones I couldn't put there. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Rochelle is good. So, all right. Uh, okay, here's the first question for you guys. And if you're live, you can say it. You don't have to. I, uh, Brent it says, I love Becky's hair. I know how much hairspray it takes to keep it like that in Louisiana. <laughs> oh, the humidity. Here it comes. Oh, that <laughs> the Lord's got. Okay, here's the first question for tonight. Okay, Ooh. let's see. Okay. What is the worst name for a temp agency? Since Michelle is not working and she <laughs> needs a break. What is the worst name uh, name for a temp agency? I don't know if this system would let me pen it. But I can do that. Let's see. Where would it let me pen it? Uh, no, it won't. So. I'll keep her. So, what do you guys think? What's the worst name for a temp agency? Uh, pay as you go. Hey, what? Pay as you go. Pay as you go? <laughs> okay. Never mind. Let's, oh uh, it's, it's easy. Oh, who's here? Her hands when. Oh. Who's here? Um, I put I don't know. I was I've been putting mine in the chat because I'm just better writing than I am actually saying it out. Yeah. But I had like better, better luck next time. Better luck less time next time. <laughs> Congress. Okay. All right. I I'll tell you what. If you'd want I can just let's see if I can uh put some people off that don't feel comfortable. And let's see. Oh here oh Sophia's here from Toledo, Ohio. Our nurse. Hi Sophia. Yay. We can't see you, but we think we're you're there. Hi, Hi Sophia. Sophia. Camera's blocked. Oh, we know you're there. Here you are. Hey. Hi, <laughs> Sophia. I can't Hi. see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh no. Hey. Sophia here. and Michelle are from Ohio, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> You got Toledo and we got, uh, so uh, Sophia is a nurse and Michelle is a respiratory uh, specialist, therapist? Therapist. Yep. Therapist. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you find, if you guys Barbie. find, Hi. if you guys find someone choking, I'm sure both of you can really be <laughs> great help for that. Uh, all right. Oh, so let's see. Oh, worst name for a temp agency. Here we go. Here today, gone tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Better luck next time. Congress. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> we get you fired. Bobby Miller, to join us. Uh, Pookie Martinez, how are you? Pinned here at Comedian Nazareth. Oh, that's good. Uh, Elizabeth said, lazy, lazy are us. Lori said, time after time. That's a bad name for a temp agency. Partial pay. <laughs> Rita said partial pay. That's funny. Uh, Brent said county jail. <laughs> That's a good name for a temp agency. Uh, <laughs> Beverly said ships passing in the night. Dolores said no questions asked. Oh. <laughs> that was good. Oh, my gosh. Maha saying hello to everybody. She will not be in love. Aww. We love you, Maha. Yes. Love Maha. You, Maha. Oh, she's going to run away. <laughs> yeah, they love you. <laughs> she knows she loves you too. <laughs> that's all I get. Holy Toledo. That's a good name for a temp agency. 
Best name for a temp page is 115 degrees and climbing. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what a beautiful family. Thank you, Frank. Pancho, don't call us. We'll call you. <laughs> good one, Elizabeth Gavin. Good one. Uh, fired often. <laughs> My, okay. You again. <laughs> Give it up. <laughs> good one. Becky and Sarah. Where's Becky? She's funny. Oh, you are funny, Becky. Repeat customers, okay? Lazy eyes, lazy eyes. <laughs> That's a good name for the hmm. Okay, let's see. I'll join you as soon as my computer lets me. Okay, FBI most wanted. That's a good name for a temp agency. Half as much. <laughs> Rita, Michael Ness, can you show us Delilah? No, Delilah is not to be seen or heard of while during the show. <laughs> She in the truck <laughs> no, she she just had the she had a surgery the you know so I don't have to pay for birth control anymore. Uh, uh, so uh, so she's uh, she's in the bed sleeping. Jehovah Witness, that's not a good name for a temp agency. Okay, let's see. Pat and you thought dirty jobs was bad. <laughs> What a yeah. name for an agency. And you thought dirty jobs were bad. No drug test required. Good one, Sarah. <laughs> That's a good one. Nice try. Uh, almost gone. Uh, on the rebound. <laughs> I'm not hiring anybody from an agency called In the Rebound. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, let's see. Okay, let's see. This one just went to down. This is different than the system I use every night, so... Bear with me, please. Hey, no problem. Uh, okay, let's see. And uh, uh, so, Michelle, what's a bad name for a temp agency? Rejected resumes are us. <laughs> Good. Uh, Becky, <laughs> Becky, what do you think? Here today, gone tomorrow. Uh, that's good. And then uh, Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> See, putting you as fast as hard. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Good, good luck getting permanent job, huh? <laughs> Almost on the rebound, revolving doors. That's good. Oh, no like jobs that. for you. <laughs> mask, no mask. <laughs> That's a good name, Beverly Wicks. That's a good name for Angel. Uh, toddler stamp, snowflakes. <laughs> All right, beat on time. The unvaccinated. <laughs> Brent said the unvaccinated. That's funny. See, it's Aww. good to see you guys laughing. See, I don't see that every day. <laughs> that's that's worth 400 shows. Snowflakes <laughs> melting. Oh, <laughs> Lord, blessing. Your last job ever. <laughs> <laughs> Brent said millennials. Pokey <laughs> said shenanigans are us. Good one. Uh, Rita, which we did, they go. <laughs> which we did, they go. What is that? Which way? Which way, which way did they go? Oh, which way did they go? Not sure. Okay, good one. Becky said, check your brains at the door. Oh. Okay, which way did they go? Okay. Sarah said, in and out. That's good. Cajuns. <laughs> hey, watch it, Brent. We got three musketeers yeah. here. Uh, moment by moment. Okay. The crying game. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Hello, Samantha is here with us. Uh, birthday Hello, girl. Happy, hey, happy is birthday. it 18 yeah. is it 18 or 21 when you become an adult in this country 18 well 18. 18 well happy 18th birthday samantha in nasa's country it's 12. <laughs> yeah <laughs> hey, <laughs> gotta get a job man <laughs> the, <laughs> the unwashed masses that's a good name for a temp agency the unwashed mass uh, okay debbie said have job will travel <laughs> Oh, <laughs> close, but no cigar. <laughs> oh, that's no, no shoes, no shirt. Temp agency. I don't know why that sounds like more like Louisiana, huh? <laughs> I saw that. No, I meant I meant Mississippi. Mississippi. Did I say Mississippi? I said Mississippi. Cover. Okay. Love it. Ajax, Ajax headhunters. Lori said, "Forever yours." <laughs> That's oh, no. good for a temp agency for oh, yours. <laughs> Mindless drones here. 
Okay, good one, sir. Okay, you're gone <laughs> as soon as you get here. <laughs> oh, that's good. Fly by night. The Toothless by Brent. <laughs> Again, that could be Mississippi. One-eyed Willie. Uh, 18. Samantha's 18. Happy 18th birthday. All right. Brent Lazy Boy Stamp. <laughs> Becky Vos said next. That's a good name for a temp agency. Next. <laughs> Sarah said, don't come back here anymore. <laughs> Pat said, you won't come back the same. Oh, no. <laughs> True. <laughs> Elizabeth, we'll, we'll work for food. <laughs> All right. Oh, Here's my God. That. Was that the Let's soup kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> Beverly Wick said, under the table pay. That's a Ooh. good name for it. That's a good one. <laughs> Sarah, go, go directly to dry cleaning. Uh, <laughs> Pokey said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Temp agency. Huh. That's good. Love that. Becky Voss, you're done. Uh, Brent said the defendants. <laughs> That's a good name for it. Uh, oh, Matthew. Man. Matthew, hang in there. He said, uh, take full time and shove it. <laughs> oh, Rita, thank you. <laughs> Is it time to hydrate and share, people? Yeah, we missed that. Please, if you have your drinks. We tried, oh, good. So, yep. Oh, good. We did. Becky was right on it. Oh, you guys don't be. Oh, Sophia had it. Michelle, where's your water? Coffee. Oh, okay. Coffee. Yes. <laughs> Coffee at what time is it? 11 9 Midnight, right? You sure that's not a prop? Four hours. Yeah. <laughs> Bryn said the fo the post office. That's funny. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Beverly said, "Wax front door, back door." Pe <laughs> Becky falls. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Sarah said, "Restraining orders are us." <laughs> Matthew said, "Lost on Jeopardy." <laughs> That's a, I will still hire someone who lost in Jeopardy. Okay. Oh, Brent can't just drink yet. Yeah, I know we're feeling for you, man. Uh, Lori. Lori said, hello, is it me you're looking for? <laughs> That's a good name. That's a good one. <laughs> good one. Elizabeth Gavin, the dating game. Brent said, the, the alcoholic stamp. Debbie Malone, Debbie Malone, your sister, right? She said, uh, we don't get offended with jokes about Louisiana. We're proud and strong. Joke on. All right. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Stalling truckers. Stalling truckers. Uh, okay. Lottery losers. <laughs> don't, don't bother to apply, Lori said. Sarah said, we tried to lose you. <laughs> Uh, Brent said the Baconator Baconators Okay mm -hmm. This is good Yeah Alright let's see Are we let's See It's funny to see people looking at me I was like I'm used to like What do we do Should we go to our next question Free trunk ride with us Novices That's good Matthew Dirk <laughs> Novices uh, Brent The shoplifters Tim Lost in space. <laughs> so, uh, Sophia, how is the how is the patience? Uh, are we yeah. are you guys getting more patients because of COVID now or less? Better than before? What is going on? We're getting more because we're taking patients from their hospitals. So a lot of the rural hospitals aren't able to handle their patient load the COVID. So we're taking more. Are you seeing people, more people dying from this or less than uh, f more. with the Omicron? Really? Hmm. With I'm seeing more. We don't know why, hmm. but the last couple oh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's been a few deaths almost every So wow. I don't know what's, what's going on. Yeah. Maybe it's the weather, cold weather, or just... But it's, uh, it's I think yeah, because I thought the some of them waiting a while to, to get to us 
us, they're already in pretty rough shape. So I think that's a large portion of it. So what do you do to handle this? I mean, that's very stressful for you to see patients gone and all that. What do you, what do you do? It's been really tough. <laughs> I've been like definitely praying a lot more. Um, they brought in essentially grief counselors for the staff. Because oh. a lot of the nurses said in their 20 years, they have never seen it this bad. So we've got then I talked to my manager personally, and she said, you know, find something that takes your mind off of all of this. So like, like somewhere where you can laugh, where you can focus on something that makes you happy. So I've been back to painting again, dancing again, watching the show. <laughs> And so what do I do? Easy. I bring you back to you're trying to forget about <laughs> yes. it. And what do I Thank do? You, Naz. <laughs> now, now, how many how oh, many hours? To heal, Naz. Thank you. Naz. you well, <laughs> <laughs> how many days? How many hours each day are you on your feet? I lost count. Honestly, it's supposed to be twelve hour shifts, but I've been we've been going longer because we've been short staff. Mm -hmm. So. Could start thinking about it actually. Um, it could be like yeah. 15 hours, 16 hours sometimes, depending on, if, but you know, but. four days, five days a week, to seven days actually oh. asking for more help. But I would just say no because you know, I need a break at some point, so yeah, it's it's rough. <laughs> You know what we're going to do as a show? Doesn't Nobody is obligated to do this. I'm going to start it. We're going to send you stuff for your feet, whatever it is that can help your feet. We're going to well, – you know, I'll start. I'm going to send you something to help your feet, whatever it is. And, oh, she shut us down. And anybody who's watching, if you want, you know, just uh, let me know and we'll get it all to Sophia. All yeah. right. Because we love our nurses and our physician. Michelle, if only you were working, we would have helped you. <laughs> you wanted the break. Like, you could have followed Michael yesterday and you could have won. <laughs> All right, let's see who, who else is joining us. Here we go. We're back with Rochelle and her baby. Hello. Oh, hi. Hey. <laughs> and what? Penelope, hi. This is what. And, oh. <laughs> and who's that? What's your name? Zach. Zach. Hi, Zach. How are you? Oh, it's Rex. Rex. Rex, like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, Rex. Hi, Rex. How are you? Good. How do you like your mom, you know, using a, a, a reptile that's been extinct for thousands of years to, to, to refer to your name? How do you feel about that? Great. Great. Okay, good. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll show you my kids, but one is in Nashville, one is at UCLA, and the other one downstairs watching... Uh, Heartland, which is a show on Netflix that goes for 14 years. Oh, wow. Right. Crazy. Crazy. Good, good, good. Let's see. Where did uh, Sophia just left us? It's like, I, I don't know. I think we might have been emotional. <laughs> oh. Well, I can't just bring her mood down like that. I, I didn't mean to ask a question. So <laughs> well, I'm so I, sorry. Okay. I feel like maybe, her, maybe she lost the connection. Oh, maybe. Okay. Uh, sorry, everything froze, so I missed it. We'll try to get oh. back. Yeah, please do. Glad Naz has inter interpreters. Interpreters. You know what, Mr. Brent? Listen, buddy. Just because you're in the ER doesn't you're not getting sympathy from me, buddy, anymore. Because I'm sick and tired of it. If you want to really insult me, learn how to spell. Learn how to spell. I have a hard time with English by itself, but to insult me and misspell it really, really just that's not fair. It's not fair. Okay, let's see. Who else is oh, Sophia is back? Are insulting each other. <laughs> no. 
I'm like, <laughs> okay, can I buy a vowel before I get insulted, yeah. Brent? Uh, okay, so oh. Sophia's back. All right. Uh, I know that Brent is in the ER. Really yes. <laughs> Brent, are you out of the ER? You tell he was having heart issues last night, yesterday, and Audra is out of town, so it's really difficult for him. So, but I hope you're fine, man. Pray and for right. you, Brent. Yes, we're praying for you. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me change the question on you guys. And let's see. Here we go. Uh, I want to see Michael Ramirez. I think he's not a real person, people. <laughs> he's just an, an artificial intelligence that really trying to act like a human. <laughs> All right. Keto well, Olsen is with us from Oregon. Keto, a wonderful, wonderful friend from... Oregon, how are you? Okay, here's my question. If you have to start a cult, what would you name it and what would they be known for? <laughs> okay, if, wow. if, if you have to start a cult, what would you name it? Okay. <laughs> what would you name it and what would you... Would, what would they be known for? What would they be known for? Okay, that's a good question. Let's see if someone can, can pin it for me. Oh, host. Okay, pin. Okay. Here you go. So what do you think? The dark side chocolate cult. Oh, that's fast. That was good. Sophia is back. Yes. Where'd you go? Bobby's here. Hi, Bobby. Bobby Miller is here. Okay. Bobby is here, not Sophia. <laughs> He's not here yet. Uh -oh. Bobby, how are you? Let's see. <laughs> Bobby frozen. froze. Bobby is frozen. Bobby? Okay. Uh, I'm home. My heart not beating. Oh, he's home. Not beating right now, but I can be fixed with meds. Maybe no blockage. I hope oh. not. Chocolate Chumps, that's the name of Debbie Malone's cult, Over Exuberant Clowns. <laughs> okay, Becky, one way to die. <laughs> Singles only. One, yours. 